All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got some results for you. They are coming in hot and heavy, and I'm going to start off with my personal favorite, Mr. Steve Yant and Seven. They are your winners there in the sophomores. Uh, I do not have that card in front of me yet. Uh, I will get it. But yeah, Steve Yant, moving on. Top six. I guess it would be, I think it'd be the top six in the sophomores. I think they have three twos. Uh, we also have, I do have this card in the senior super stakes. Uh, we have Insane Scarlet, J.R. Gray. Put a whooping on them. Uh, 425 plus for Scarlet, uh, 100 and 125 out of the truck, 75 and 125 on the second coon. Uh, migraine Derek Metals, he did tree a coon. Uh, Ruby took some minus. They both withdrew, and it is insane Scarlet advancing there. I uh, also got another favorite, Casey Kirkham, J.R. Wall, and the Osha River Fatty. Uh, he is your winner there, 225 plus. He trees a coon, 116th bad, Barry Wack. He trees a coon too, but uh, Fatty had him on strike. Uh, Molly, uh, she gets in on a coon, takes some minus, and Cadillac took a little tree minus, and he is withdrawn with just two minutes left. Uh, but yeah, congrats to J.R. Wall, Casey Kirkham, another one of those Neosha River Ralph dogs. You got to keep your eye on them. They're doing, doing, doing some winning. And uh, Casey Kirkham from Valley Falls, Kansas, way out there in Kansas. Probably the most Western guy out here this week. And uh, he comes out with JR, and they get it done with Fatty. So congratulations there. Uh, also, I do not have that scorecard either, but we do have word that Eric Pyatt has won as well. I think he put a whooping on him too. Casey or, uh, Christie's sending that to me now. And Screamer advances as well. Sean Burden, Screamer. They had a tough cast there, too. Uh, I do not have that card yet, but Screamer is in as well to the top six. What a run that little dog's on. She is something special. Christy says she's winning it all, and I wouldn't put it past her. She would be a hard one to bet against. So, yeah, we'll stay here. Uh, we'll be in for the long haul for a little bit on this one. Uh, wait until we get most of, if not all, the results in. Uh, no updates from many of the juniors yet. They're just now starting to trickle in, Parker. Uh, so as soon as I have them, you will have them. And the cards that I do have, I've already announced the winners. So we got Screamer. Uh, we got Yant in with seven, uh, Casey Kirkham, J.R. Gray, and Eric Pyatt all moving on. And by all accounts, um, everybody's training some coons. I do know in the Saunders cast, there was a question there. Um, a dog got loose, and while it was supposed to be leash locked, come by dragging a leash but it was no harm no foul they called time out dog was gathered up uh, they are still hunting i do know that uh, that would be also in cast 501 uh, in the seniors that is andrew goss garrett major jeremy schaefer we did have word that there's a landowner down there that is pitching a fit about something uh, they're trying to work out the details on that which as you know that can be a little tricky it's a delicate situation sometimes so we'll see how that turns out 
Uh, it is 1030. You know, most of these casts are going to be getting pretty close to over, so we should get them in pretty quick. I'm going to see if I can go through here and get the cast that I do have winners in. Get them marked off. And that way we can keep stuff halfway organized. So, yeah. Thanks for joining us. It's going to be a long night. We are trying to get live updates from the semifinals. Now, that is going to be tricky. We have to have walk along and stuff like that in every cast. Um, it's going to be a little difficult, but we're going to see. It's late at night. I don't know how the viewership will be, but we'll try it. It is super stakes. We need to pull out all the, all the stops and try to bring it to you the best we know how. Yeah, there are a lot of there's Screamers cast. Yeah, Screamer is a win over Big Country Storm, Autry Moody. Uh, Wipeout, Dumbass, Delmar's Dumbass, and Moss Hill picking up sticks. I do not know the score yet, but Screamer is your cast winner there in 504 in the seniors. We do not have any baby stakes results in yet that I know of. Let's see. We have, I believe, the only junior result we have in would be Eric Pyatt. I believe he is a junior this year. Didn't he win the freshman or the sophomore last year? You're welcome, Jim. Thanks for joining us. Good to see you on here. I do like Jim Curtis's encouraging words all the time. It is much appreciated for our best fans. And always got kind words and sound advice. So, yeah, Hillbilly the Kid, Eric Pyatt, Jack Maggard. They are your winners there. Uh, they are your winners over Tyler Shell and Power of Attorney, Horseshoe Straight Flush, Spencer Brown, and Silver Creek, Jody, James, Tyree. Uh, let's see. I've got three. I should have one more. I believe that's our only junior update. Uh, Bush is at home, Mr. Stevens. I think. I assume, anyway. It's not so bad in a smaller hunt or in the semifinals when there's only one, one hunt, but you got to think Super Stakes is three... Well, four major events when you count the freshmen. So it is a lot to keep track of. So I know Parker's worried about Uncle Wilson and Weed. Uh, we don't have anything yet. Dale Huff, the judge there. Uh, good judge, too. Uh, Michael Evans and White Claw. Jeremy Clid and Huey. So, yeah, we don't have anything else from the juniors. We should get them in. Those are freshman cards there. We should be getting in updates pretty regular as far as cast winners. Well, thank you, Mr. Stevens. We all need some moral support every now and then. There's our other winner. Mineral Springs 7. Steve Yant, Jeremy Michaelis, congratulations, big brother, and Mr. Yant. Uh, by all accounts, I believe Yant had 350-plus on two coons. Um, I believe the dog looked pretty good, and I believe he's a pretty good dog. Uh, he's a winner over Ricky Osborne and Froggers on Fire, All Night Boone, Trevin Dill, and Wendell Bruton with Little Lady. So that's what we got. We got four cast winners so far. I got a lot to go. <laughs> All right. No other winners yet. Maybe I was a little early on starting the starting the live stream. I figure these dogs have been loose. It's a 90-minute cast. Most of them have been loose for a couple of hours now. So they should be coming in hot and heavy, I would think. The atmosphere is great 
I've been sitting down visiting him with Sluggo, still trying to convince him to be on a podcast with me. No go. I need to just secretly record him because he's been telling some good stories and some knowledgeable stuff. And you don't get to see that every day. You can get to experience that every day from Hall of Famer, Living Legend, all that stuff. So that's been a blast. I'm a lucky guy to get to do some of this stuff. Shane's got his phone in his hand, but I don't know if anything's happening. Yeah, we got a lot of cast to go. There's some that I'm pretty interested in, especially in the seniors. That is too bad about Dustin's dog, especially the role he was on. When you think of what Out's done, and let's see, I've filmed out multiple finals, um, had him in the EHS hunt, hunted with him quite a bit, probably four or five full casts and that is a really good dog um i remember when powder was hot and dustin was still hunting out and you can't question i mean who am i to question dustin weed the winningest handler of all time but i'm thinking why aren't you hunting powder why aren't you hunting this dog or that dog you know he's got a, a pretty good stable of dogs you know travis black and and parker reese and all that stuff you know he's got walter and wilson and and out and powder and all them dogs at one time when he's with levi he had a bunch of dogs to choose from but he always wanted out and you see why after you hunt with him for a while he's just real business-like he's real accurate uh moves around good and, you know in that ehs hunt yeah champ put on a clinic he looked good but out really didn't do i mean he bogged down a little bit out of the out of the get-go but after that the dog looked really good uh he just got downwind couldn't hear him but even Strickland will tell you. And speaking of that, Parker Reese, if you're on here, we do have that update. And Dustin Weed and Uncle Wilson are your winners. Uh, looks like 25 and 125 out of the truck, 75 and 125 uh, plus on both of those with the circle tree, 350 plus with the cast win. Uh, Huey, Jeremy Kidd. Uh, he trees a coon for 225. Uh, White Claw trees a coon for 50 and 125 plus a circle tree. And Dustin Weed and Uncle Wilson are moving on. Yeah. And we will not have a repeat of the finals of the sophomore or juniors last year. Slew bottom collar, Owen Shelby. They are beat. Uh, they are beat by Logan Ray. A little bit of money. Uh, he comes in with two coons treed and one circle tree, 225, 25, and 125 for a score of 375 plus. Collar does tree a coon for 50 and 125. He was the only other dog that treed a coon. And all three handlers withdraw. Congratulations to. Logan Ray there in cast 503. He is your winner there. So, yeah, congrats to uh, Logan Ray. That was a tough cast, too. You got Grand River Trump. You got Pack and Heat, Derek Brown, and Slew Bottom Collar in that cast. A uh, little bit done exactly what little bit needed to do. And Logan Ray moves on. Congratulations there. Let's see what else we got here. I think that's... Another cast is the Juniors 506. Jared Mitchum, good to see you made it home safe, buddy. Long ways down into Louisiana. And Uncle Wilson is your winner. You have a hard time keeping Dustin Weed out no matter what dogs he's packing, but he know he was 
<laughs> Tell me about Wilson and Parker has two. I believe that's a pretty good young dog. Let's see what we got here coming in. We have Junior Cast 503. That is Rex Robinson Jr., Betty 2, Maxed Out Blue, James Rayburn, uh, Loudmouth Millie, James Newman, and Picking Up Checks, Isaiah Tipton. And your winner there is Loudmouth Millie, 225 plus. Uh, looks like uh, Betty Two, Trees of Coon, a couple circle trees. Uh, checks, Trees of Coon, and Millie makes one tree, one coon, struck for 100, 225 plus, and she is your winner. Congratulations there, Mr. James Newman. Uh, he advances to the top six. I believe, no, in the juniors, it would be the top eight. I think it's uh, three, three, and two, if I remember right, in the finals for the juniors. And that is cast 503. They are coming in hot and heavy. There we are. Loudmouth Millie, James Newman, Walker Female. $3,000 won, and now much, much more. So congratulations to her and Mr. James. we got one hand. They're walking in with the card now. Make sure I'm not missing nothing. But, yeah, that's what we got so far. While we take a minute here. Remember, yeah, bit and out our litter mates, I believe. Um, take a minute, thank the sponsors. Uh, Joy Dog Food, Conkey's Outdoors, Elite Nutrition, Razor Hunting Gear. If you guys get a chance, uh, reach out to those companies and those businesses and those peoples. You know, the Conkey family, uh, Johnny Watkins, uh, Mr. Wade, uh, Chip. You know, thank them for allowing us to do this. And, of course, the Cane Stream members. If you guys are not a member, go and hit that join button. Even if it's the, the bronze membership, you still get a lot of extras. Uh, the gold members get a hunt a chance to hunt in the HS. So that's cool uh, with that. That's how we're able to do all this stuff. So I want to make sure and thank everybody involved there for sure. Hold on just a second. So I'm going to turn this off so I don't yell in the mic. All right, Christy's got a picture of it. She's sending it over to me right now. But we did have just a card walk in the door, so we'll see what that is, and we'll get these as fast as we can to you. They're coming in now. Only had one question tonight, so that's pretty good. And that was solved quickly and promptly and correctly. Those guys are all still in the woods and still hunting. We'll see if there's any more that come in. Sometimes there's usually two or three in the semifinals. Part of it. And speaking of Conky, Bruce sent me a message earlier. Mr. Bruce, it's good to see that he's watching. Um, he said that he's freshman dog jail cell, which I'll have to look at that, is over 10 grand as a freshman. Gold champion in the sophomore division is something you don't see very often, just something I noticed. But yeah, that is very impressive. Thanks for bringing that to my Good morning. Yeah. Watching. A very knowledgeable dog man himself and a very big contributor to our community. So that's always someone that we appreciate for sure. And Christy's phone service sucks. Takes forever to get a text message from her with a picture. Oops. I do have the baby steaks. Yeah, go ahead and send, send me the baby steak stuff, too. Huh? Nah. Just whatever comes in tonight. No, and Conkeys is a, is a uh, staple in the hound hunting world. 
as is all the others. And so that's good. And there's so there's so many good companies. There's good light companies. There's good, you know, when you think of even those guys' competitors, they're all friends and and family and all big supporters. So, but we do definitely appreciate them for sure. Let's see what we got coming in here. Two new cards coming in from Miss Christy. Uh, junior cast. 501. It is Devin Ryan Gilbert with Super Cord. That is your cast winner. 225 plus. He is your winner over Cowgirl Sue and Chris Frazier. The Boeing Ball. Kai Roberts and Ryan Vines. Uh, Ryan looks like treat a couple coons, but took a tree minus. Uh, cord trees a coon for 225, stays out of trouble, and that is enough. Uh, the Boeing Bomber also treat a coon, but he took a tree minus as well. So, congratulations to Devin Ryan Gilbert from Fife. Alabama. That is a Reggie Byram dog. $297 come one coming into this super stakes. And he advances to the semifinals. Let's see what else we got here. If I can zoom in on it. Oh, that's the one I just read. I think I may have got it twice. Yep. All right. So that's our last update there. That is Bayou Cord with the cast winner. So the juniors, we've got three casts left of juniors to figure out 502, 505, and 507. Uh, we have one, two, three. Senior cast left still to come in. A bunch of baby stakes cast still to be seen. And several of the sophomore still to come. Here's a new one. Zoom in, you stupid thing. We have the baby stakes, cast two oh six. Your winner there with three twenty five plus. Little jerk, Bishop Stall Cop. Uh seventy five and twenty five, one hundred and one twenty five under two coons. That's pretty good for the baby stakes. Uh looks like Troy Frame with Willie. Uh Trees a Coon for two twenty five takes a minus. Uh Rocket Man Logan Hester, he takes a minus. And Brutus maxed out James Ericus Erickson. He trees a surfer. And it is Bishop Stalkop, your winner there. And the baby stakes. Congratulations there to Bishop. Let's see, that was cast six. I believe a good number. Never hunted the baby stakes. I give it a shot if I get a young dog that's any count someday. So yeah, born nine twenty six twenty four. Dog will be a year old in September. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that is a that is a baby. Bishop himself, of course, he's noted youth handler. He's in a lot of the youth hunts. Uh, Fourteen thousand dollars lifetime earnings. Just turned eighteen this year. He's almost as young as the dog. Congratulations, Bishop. So, yeah, that's what we got so far. 
We'll go through them again real quick. Bishop Stalkoff, he is your winner in 206 in the baby stakes. Uh, Punch a Super Cord, Devin Ryan Gilbert, he's your winner there in Cast 501 of the Juniors. Uh, Loudmouth Millie, James Newman, also in the Juniors. He is your Cast winner there. Uh, cast 506, like we said, Dustin Weed, Uncle Wilson, he is moving on. Cast three little bit of money logan ray he is your sophomores mineral springs seven steve yant he is your winner in 501 uh cast 504 in the juniors it is hill billy the kid eric pyatt moving on uh cast 505 in the seniors willie's insane scarlet jr gray he is making it to the semifinals. And your final results so far, Flat Rock, Packin' Screamer, just keeps winning. Sean Burden, he moves on as well. So, yeah, quite the lineup so far. You got Logan Ray in. You got Dustin Weed in. You got uh, Screamer in, Sean Burden. And... In the freshman, in the baby stakes, this looks like a baby stakes card. We have Justin Wallace with stacking checks. He's your winner there with 200 minus. Not a pretty card, but a win's a win. And so he it moves on there. That is cast number 204 in the baby stakes. So congratulations to Mr. Wallace out of Lexington, Tennessee. We'll get that card over in the wind pile. And we have also in the freshman. With a score of 100 plus, Froggers, T Bone, West Jackson. That is cast 209. He is moving on. Looks like he was on a tree with the Coon for 75, struck for 25, and made zero mistakes. And a lot of times in the baby, that will do it. So, congratulations. He is moving on there in the baby stakes. It's a T ball game. And he just hit a homer and ran to first <laughs> instead of the pitcher's mound. So that is good there. Let's see. That dog is he turns a year old in January. That is a baby baby. The fact that he even trees is impressive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very cool yeah 129.25 I don't know if that's right we'll see either way so yeah we've got several sophomores left to the side we haven't really touched sophomores yet Oh, uh, yeah. If she won it all, I don't think anybody would be too surprised. You know, you look at what she's done and what she's won, $200,000 worth of earnings over that now. Um, if nothing happens, she's got them. She's going to be right up there for the all times money winner. Got another freshman score in here. Cast 203. It is another Neosha River dog. I don't know if that's a Ralph dog or not. Yeah, it is. It is Gerald Wall Huntner. Uh, or him. Nosha River Conan. The dogs are showing out. That's a Daniel Clipperton dog. J.R. Wall Huntner. It looks like she treated a slick. Treated a coon. Back to coon. Whether she backed it or just had to take last or whatever. But she's the only thing finished with plus points. Made three trees. 
two coons and a slick. That's pretty good. So yeah, congratulations to J.R. Wall. He is moving on in cash. And the baby stakes, they've had a good week this week. Ralph Pups are showing up. Another, I'll tell you who else has got a really good Ralph Pup is Van Pierce. He's got a very good young female. I believe she is a fall pup. But I was pretty impressed with her when I hunted with her down in Texas last winter. Uh, she looked good. Her and Trump treat a bunch of coons. Let's make sure I ain't missing any of them. But yeah, I think that's what we got so far. Still waiting on some casts that I'm pretty interested in. Uh, Margaret Snatcher. We're still waiting on her cat. Her uh results there in cast 501 and cast 502 you got Waylon morell in there with hilda justin reeves in there with power so yeah you think that's a little a little bias do you parker <laughs> how's it going yeah hey it's nice to meet you chris Ray. chris nice to meet you bud i mean yeah. Hey. Good. We appreciate it. Thank you. Good. Good. Like that, Chris, Mr. Chris Ray come over to the booth, shook my hand, said thank you. I appreciate that for sure. Um, and that is Scarlet Thread Billy Bell. He is in five oh six. Oh, we got something coming in here. Let's see what it is. That is our first sophomore score, and that is cast five oh six. It is hard to read, but we card up and see what it says that is the criminal tyler bacham maxed out lizzie jared dean graber hitler kevin purdy and random draw brandon egan and it is Random draw, Brandon Egan, I believe. Yes, all three dogs withdraw. Can't read their scores. I do see some dashes and not squares or not plus signs. Uh, but Brandon treat two coons for 25 and 125. And he has a final score of 300 plus. So that is your one of the sophomore semifinalists, top six. I believe in the sophomore, there will be three two casts. Or three two dog casts in that. So congratulations to Brandon Egan. He's moving on into the semifinals. Christy's making fun of me via text. Yeah. Um, no, I don't think so. I think I'm good. Thank you though. Nice. All right. So Parker says he wants a seven and a screamer. And that's who he thinks. Those are good picks. You can't argue with those picks. Yant, weed, and burden. <laughs> I'd say I'd say those are pretty safe. Uh we still got Billy Bell in there, still got Logan Ray in there, still got Eric Pied in there. And so yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be some interesting head to head casts. Uh, coming up. I know the juniors, I believe they have three threes and a two. Uh, I think, don't quote me on that, but I think the sophomores are three head to head, head to head casts as are. I don't know. I will get that breakdown. So, yeah, still waiting on cast 501, 502, and 506 in the seniors. 502. 505, 507 in the juniors. And we still have one, two. We have several casts left in the sophomores. In the sophomores, there's still some interesting matchups there that we do not know yet. It's got Duke Cruel with Dixie in there. We do not have that deal there yet. Wipeout Cellmate, Jordan Sisk. 
he talked about those dogs 95 20 he's over he's over a gold champion as a sophomore uh 116th bad barry whack oh we already have that one neosha river fatty neosha river fatty is your winner there so yeah i did not put that in the win pile so we have three left and then felony money me and maxine duke cruel cellmate and then of course chris saunders shawnee knowles daniel spurlock and cast 505 with checkmate flesh and bone and stylish clipper so those are those results we're waiting on and then of course all of the freshman cards we still got several of them left probably eight or nine casts of freshmen still left to go so we'll stay on here until we figure it all out here's your guys's picks thank you Heike Jaeger appreciate you good to see you again John Dollar says he's rooting for flesh and bone everybody root for Chris Saunders he is a crowd favorite the people's champ Mr. Chris Saunders He's got a tough cast in front of him tonight, though. Tough cast. That little dog, Charlie Knowles, that he's handling, he's looked really good all week. Uh, and then Daniel Spurlock. I believe that's Sluggo's dog. That's Spurlock's hunting. I think Sluggo said that was his, so I don't know. It says Daniel Spurlock, Daniel Spurlock. but I think he was hunting for Sluggo. I may have heard that. There you go. Heike, you should have come and ate fish tacos with us. Get that old blue dog through that late round. <laughs> Roger Young says he likes flesh and bone also. She's a good young dog. Even if she doesn't win, she's a good young dog. There's no doubt about that. Can't deny that. Chris will tell you she likes a little bit of mouth, but it was hard to tell for me when I hunted with her because it was such rough conditions anyway. Uh, but her mouth's good enough. It's definitely good enough. She ain't had no trouble with tree and coons this week being heard. Thank you. And she wants to go coon up. That's the main thing. It's a dog that really wants to go coon up. And I will say while everybody's on here, if we do have any technical difficulties, which do happen, I think we've got them all ironed out. But if something happens, we will just start a new live stream until we... Uh, until we get everything done. So just stay tuned. John Dollar says he's got a litter mate to flesh and bone. She's the opposite cannon for a mouth. And I'm flesh's mouth ain't terrible. I mean, it's by no means a house dog mouth or anything. I don't I just don't think it carries real great. But I mean I could hear pretty good the other night and it was raining and you know, wind blowing a little bit and trains and all kinds of stuff. I could still hear a treat in there about she was six tenths or something like that so i mean it ain't it ain't no mouth by any means but yeah if she's got more which they all do it could be she could be a little louder so yeah nothing coming in here right now but a lot of good dogs in it's always it's not always the same guys but a lot of the guys that are still hunting tonight were still hunting last year at this time too it's that catch the brakes thing they just catch all the brakes every year every cast every hunt <laughs> I do see Mark McGinn walking in. I don't know. I think we already called his cast. So, yeah, starting to get a little noisy in here. We're getting some hunters filing in. People getting some late supper. It's usually the winners that eat when they, or the losers that eat when they get in. Everybody else is still keyed up. Don't want to get too full for the late round. I thought about going out on a late round if there was a really good head-to-head -head matchup and bringing that live instead of doing the full coverage but 
I don't know. We'll see. We'll see who gets in and who doesn't. Whether we got walk-alongs or whether we don't. How late it's going to be. See if anybody's even going to be awake. All that good stuff. Yeah, still waiting on word. You guys are going to have to give me something to talk about here pretty quick. Mr. Stevens says, put your boots on. Even got new ones. Got some new ones off. Johnny Watkins with Razor. Got a new set of bikinis with some Yoder chaps on it. My other ones I found out leaked like a sieve the other day. <laughs> we do got another freshman score. That is cast 208. J.D. Wood with Wood Hollow Jiggy. He advances there in the baby stakes. I like it better when they call it the baby stakes and not the freshman. A better, better ring to it. Uh, looks like Jiggy. Trees, a circle tree. Takes the least amount of mine if I'm reading that score right. That sounds about right. So yeah, congratulations to JD Wood. He's a win over there. He's a winner over there over DJ Vaughn, Eli Lee, and Brad Blanton. JD Wood and Jiggy. I, I don't know how many Pyatt's won. It's a bunch. I know he won with that last year in the juniors. Or the sophomores. I think it was sophomores. He's a junior this year, I believe. You know, I was talking to Sluggo a little bit ago. And riddle me this. He's won nationals, a truck, super stakes, and a world hunt. Has anybody else ever done that? Because I can't think of anybody right offhand. Because I don't think Ryan has won nationals. Yant has yet to win a world hunt. I don't think Eric has won all four. I don't think Weed's won all four. That is an accomplishment. Those are the four marquee events. Events. I don't know if Engel did or not. I'm trying to think if Engel has won. Did Engel win nationals? Okay. Scotty, if you're on here, let me know. <laughs> I'm trying to think if anybody else has. Has Engel won a PKC truck? I know he's won the world, huh? I know he's won super stakes. I think he's won nationals. I don't know. Either way, those are the four marquee events in the professional kennel club, in my opinion. And uh, Sluggo's won them all. Very impressive. Yeah, you get those three together, Heike and Owen and his dad together, you got <laughs> you will be entertained. <laughs> Just one of them at a time is bad enough. You get all three of them together. I don't know how Owen's dad does it. That is an amazing human being. And the fact that he didn't drown Owen as a baby, it's impressive. <laughs> that shows willpower right there. <laughs> Any normal, most mortals would have held his head underwater until the bubbles quit coming up. <laughs> Owen had a good run this year. The fish tacos did not help today, though. They were close. They got him in. And the dog treated coon. Treat a coon and uh, I don't think look too terrible in the in the quarterfinals. I think Christy's getting another card in. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, there's people filing in like crazy now. Clear. 
Yeah. Someone find out for me if anybody else has won all four of PKC's major events. So that's something. I can't even win one of them. I can barely get in in one of them. Awesome. Sluggo did also tell me that the best dog he ever had was a 35 pound black and tan that he traded a female black and tan that wasn't any good and $165 for. It. He said the best dog he ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you think of what's been through his hands, and then that's the best one. <laughs> Nothing coming in, but I see cards getting handed in up there at the desk. I think they're slacking on my updates. Still, no word from some of the more interesting cast in my opinion not to everybody I'm sure I'm curious whether see Hilda gets in way the morale Justin Reeves also in that cast he's from right there close to the house Billy Bell with Scarlet see if they can keep their winning ways and super stakes going still hearing about Noel Allen and cornbread I was wondering whether the English dog could pull it out there in that cast, there was Piper, a blue tick, Cornbread, English, Maze, English, and Southern Charm, Tring Walker. So the dogs other than walkers, I can't call them off-breeds because people get mad. The dogs other than walkers got a 75% chance on that one. So we'll see. All right, I do got a card coming in. And it is a junior card. It is cast 507. That is Brian Jones, Main Street Frank. Also a English dog. Tom Petty, Armand Marner, and Waylon Pierce with Trump Train. And they had a shootout, it looks like. It is Armand Marner with Tom Petty. Uh, takes 100 minus out of the truck and then goes and trees three coons. Uh, Trump train. Uh, he trees two coons for 225. And a circle tree, it looks like. Yeah. Trump ends up with 450. Uh, Tom Petty ends up with 475 and Main Street Frank, not to be left out. He trees two coons and a couple circle trees. He's got 350. They had an absolute shootout. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coons scored in that cast. That was a dandy. So, congratulations there, Armand Marner. Thor looked very good, obviously. He even took 100 minus and still managed to come back and win that cast. So, kudos to him. Let's see what else we got coming in here. We have in the freshman cast 210. That is... Two seventy-five plus, good freshman score, and that is a wipeout candy crush. Tom Jones, uh, fifty and fifty out of the truck on a coon, and fifty and one twenty-five plus on a coon by herself for a score of two seventy-five plus. Uh, Gafford's tough blue thunder, an English dog, Eugene Gafford. He trees a coon for two twenty-five as well. Uh, those are the only coons scored. Everybody else withdraws. Congratulations there to Wipeout Candy Crush. Tom Jones, he is moving on there in the freshman. Now, let's see what else we have here. Oh. Okay, 
Cast 202 in the freshman. 50 circle. That win it. That wins it. Talk to him, Banjo. Luke Phillips. Uh, looks like Banjo made a circle tree, had some minus. Uh, uh, one dog goes back to the same tree three times, gets sketched. Uh, one dog trees a slick withdraws. So, yeah, typical baby stakes cast, but talk to him. Banjo comes out the winner there and it cast 202. <laughs> So congratulations to Mr. Luke Phillips. Tom Petty said he won't back down. I like that. <laughs> then we have, let's see, I've already got that card, I believe. Yeah, Neosha River Fatty, he's a winner there. Yes. So yeah, that's what we got. Got another one coming in. We'll see what this one is. Another freshman card, two oh seven. We're getting the freshman out of the way. Uh we have I can't read the score, it just says first and cast win. There is a coon treed, and it is Big Boomin' Rockin' Rodney, John Cody Shockley out of Stockport, Ohio. He's your winner there. Trees some minus, trees some circle, trees a coon, and that is enough there. He is your winner over Wannabe Blake, Brillin' Jones, Shane Johnson, and Clint C. Hill. So, yeah, we're about out of freshman cards. Two freshmen left to be decided. Still three. And the seniors, two in the juniors, and two in or three in the sophomores. They got to be coming in pretty quick. We will see. Uh, we're still in the sophomores. We're still waiting on 505. That is Spurlock Saunders and Shawnee Knowles. Cast 502, still waiting on full strut. Justin Sharon, power line, Rayburn Prince. Penny Ryan Ryder and Runt Josh Thornhill and 503 uh, Duke Pruel Dixie cellmate Jordan Sisk me and Maxine Jason Martin and felony Melanie Lance Teal that is a Minkler dog Minkler Reed or Smith I see we got another one coming in you guys are wearing out the Tom Petty songs now we have a senior Cast 504. No, never. Uh, that, we just got Screamer's card. That's what it is. We got Screamer down as a winner. We do have a picture of her card now. Uh, Screamer just goes and does what Screamer does. She trees three coons. 75, 125 plus, 25, 125 plus, 25, 125 plus for a score of 450 plus. It was not easy, though. Moss Hill picking up sticks. He ends up with 375. He trees two coons. Delmar's dumbass. He trees two coons. He's got 300. Uh, Autry Moody. He trees a coon. Has a question, but it didn't matter. He pulled it, and uh, he withdraws with 34 minutes to go. And, uh, yeah, they treat some coons in that cast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Every dog treat a coon. Screamer trees three. Sticks two. Dumb ass. Okay. Christy just sent him to me. Still has his light on, though. And his boots. So we'll see. Cast. Five oh five and so As soon as that comes through, we will get it to you. But I believe I'm going to call it. I see Chris over there shaking hands. I believe Flesh and Bone is your cast winner. Not official yet. That's just the observation that I'm making right now. We shall see. 
as soon as the slow freaking text messages come through. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say Chris Saunders is your winner. And we will get the scores to you as we get them. Or as we get the card in. So, we're waiting on two sophomores. That is cast 502 and 503. Uh, the judges there, Tracy Thompson and Zach Beavers. And that will decide. As soon as we get those two down, that will decide the sophomore super stakes semifinalists. Christy, are you sure you hit sin? <laughs> okay. That ain't come through yet. So, all right, we got two juniors, three seniors, two sophomores yet, and a couple baby steaks. So we're wearing them down. We're getting close. I can see one coming through now. Got it. Flesh and bone trees, two coons. She is your winner there, 325 plus. Uh, looks like the only dog to tree a coon. Uh, takes a couple strike minuses and checkmate trees, a circle and a slick. Flesh and bone, two trees, two coons, 325 plus. Congratulations to Chris Saunders is moving on now we're getting down into the short rows we have seven nine casts left to be decided as soon as we get those scorecards or those winners in we will let you know all right we're going to take a quick five minute break Eight minute break, something like that. And we'll be back. Stay tuned. I'll just leave this running. I'm going to get up, check on things, talk to a couple handlers, uh, shake some hands, get some news. And then we'll be back shortly with some more results for you. Right here, 2024 PKC Spring Super Stakes. We'll be back. I'll be back.
Good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am back. I've got some winners for you. Uh, in cast 502 in the seniors, it is Justin Reeves with Pandemic Power. He is your winner there. He advances. Congratulations to Justin. Uh, I do not have that card. I just know the winners. Uh, he's your winner over Mike Dollar. Waylon Morrell, Anthony Rose, so Justin Reeves. Moving on. Uh, we also have cast 502. One of the English dogs won. It was Mays and Mark McGinn. Uh, he is your winner over Joey Fuller, Southern Charm, Cornbread, Noel Allen, and Piper, Timothy Chafin. Uh, they had a question on that panel just got done hearing it. Uh, the judge, Zach Vault, uh, he's going into a tree. One handler saying it's his dog, uh, that was treed. Uh, the other handler saying it's his dog that was treed the whole time. He gets there. There's two. Uh, they're both there. Uh, he got to take it as he called it or as it was called. And so, uh, panel up, upheld the judge, went with the judge on that. I do believe so. Mark McGinn, he is your winner there. So he advances. They're in the juniors. Yes, cast 502 in the juniors. So, I do believe I've got some more cards over here to go through. Uh, cast 503. Tracy Thompson was your judge there. We have Felony Melanie, me and Maxine, Dangerous Dixie, and Cellmate. And it is Cellmate with the winner there. He's your winner there. 50 and 125 plus, 75 and 125 plus. He trees two coons. Uh, uh, Dixie, she trees a coon, takes a minus. Uh, Jason Martin and Maxine, they tree a coon for 225. Felony Melanie, shade. Uh, yeah, 375 plus for cellmate. Congratulations to Jordan Sisk out of Carlisle, South Carolina. And those dogs just keep winning. You look at jail cell and cellmate and all them. Congratulations there. That dog has a very bright future and has done really well for no longer than he's been on this earth. I can promise you that. Uh, then we have... Uh, cast 506 in the seniors. That is Heather Island, Long Range Lucy, Dual Murphy, Tree, Long Tree Comanche, Daniel Scott, Scarlet Thread, Billy Bell, and Rocky Creek Lincoln, Coley Treadwell. 
Uh, we have Scarlet Thread, Billy Bell. All she does is win super stakes. <laughs> Uh, she has 400 plus, uh, looks like Comanche comes in there with 300 plus, uh, Lincoln, he is withdrawn and range Lucy, uh, she ends up below the board there. So Scarlet makes two trees, two cones, uh, looks like Comanche, uh, he was 150 and 25 and 50. And 75, I can't read it. He ends up at 300. I do know that. Scarlett ends up at 400. Billy Bell, congratulations there. He is your winner in cast 506 of the seniors. So what are we waiting on? We are waiting on cast 501 that is margaret snatcher and the seniors are waiting on 501 that is andrew goss uh, with a second ride margaret snatcher garrett major matt logan broadway willie jeremy schaefer and in cast 502 we've got full strut justin sharon rayburn prince power line short a penny ryan Ryder, and runt thornhill so those are the three that are waiting on now we get them in, we will figure out what we are going to do for that late round. I see Steve Yant, I see Chris Saunders, I see Billy Bell, some of the other winners walking around out here in front of me, strutting a little bit, as I would be too. <laughs> So, yeah, still waiting on three results. We get them. We will have our semifinalists all set. I will text Christy and tell her what I need. See if we can get them. All right, we'll get these three results in as fast as we can get them. I do not see any of those guys involved in any of those casts just yet. I'd say my voice is breaking up because it's trying to cut out some of the background noise. It's getting pretty noisy in here. I apologize for that. Not much I can do about it right now, I don't think. I'm afraid to touch anything. I'm afraid we'll lose it all. <laughs> Yeah, we still got Josh Thornhill, Ryan Ryder, Rayburn Prince, and Justin Sharon in 502 of the sophomores. Andrew Goss, Garrett Major, Jeremy Schaefer in 501. That was the cast that they had a landowner come in there and I guess was throwing a fit, telling them to get the dogs there. I don't know what the deal was. Um, we'll see. I'll ask Carl about that if I see him. See Logan Ray walking around out there. He's your big winner. He's headed off to the semifinals. Let's see, we have cast 503 in the juniors. We do. I think I already have that card. Yes, that is Loudmouth Millie. She treed that coon for 225. We do have that winner. Oh, yeah, we'll, we'll hang out here. It's getting late. Almost midnight.
See Dustin Weed. He's Michael Wilson. This place is filling up. This is about as lively as it's been all week. <laughs> These guys all going for that coveted Super State Championship. Uh, of our winners, let's see who's won it before. Billy Bell's won it before. Eric Pyatt, Steve Yant, of course. I don't know if Logan Ray has won the Super Stakes or not. I believe Weed has. So, yeah, it's uh, a lot of big winners in there. I see Mr. <laughs> I see I see Mr. Chris Saunders over there. He's still chomping at the bit to get flesh and bone back out there. <laughs> Big Brother just sent me a text that they have on the website that Duke won, Duke Pruel, but that is not the scorecard that I got, I believe. I'll go back through there and double check on that. But I believe Cellmate was your winner in that cast. Oh. Yeah, card I'm seeing shows about cellmate as your winner 375 plus um dangerous dixie she had 25 and 125 plus at plus 125 minus and she is withdrawn according to this card so yes big brother that is wrong on the website uh billy we don't know exactly what happened to out um they come back from the tournament champions leg swelled up and it's big and they haven't figured out exactly what's causing it yet Dustin didn't want to hunt him. And so one of the top dogs on the planet stays home. Yep. Yeah, no wipeout cellmate is your winner there. I know on ProHound it says Duke won, but let's see if I could sort this out with cast 501, 505, and 502 and the sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Those are the only results we're waiting on at the moment. Give me two or three minutes. I will go talk to Shane and see if he knows the winner of those real quick. Because believe it or not, Christy is a lot more efficient about getting me the winners than Shane is. And some of them, times they send them to Shane and they get lost. Shane's probably the one that updated ProHound to him. <laughs> he's a good guy, but he's no Jerry Mall. That's all I'm saying. I'll be right back. All right, we do have a winner for cast 505 in the juniors. Uh, that is Southern Style Crazy Daniel Donahue, Horseshoes Buffy, Elijah Leverett, and Rackham Kane, David Finger. It is crazy. I do not know the scores, but we do know that Daniel Donahue and Crazy, I may actually have that card coming in. Yes, I do. Uh, Crazy has a score of 350 plus. Uh, she looks like 125 and 25 and 25 and 25 both plus. 
Uh, Horseshoes Buffy, Elijah Leverett, she trees a coon for 225. Uh, Rackham Kane trees a coon for 50 and 125. And so it is Southern style crazy Daniel Donahue, New Haven, Kentucky. He moves on in cast 505 of the juniors. So now all we're waiting on is 501. Carl Proctor, he is your judge. They may be dead in a ditch somewhere. Say <laughs> they're the ones that the the landowners went to run off. Last time we heard from him, we hadn't heard from him since. So I'm gonna text Carl real quick and uh, see if he's still breathing. <laughs> Hopefully they're okay. We have not heard from them since they called in one of the handlers that called in and we're waiting on the sophomores in 502 uh that is justin sharon rayburn prince ryan Ryder, and josh thornhill zach beavers is your guide and judge there so yeah we get those two we'll be all set for the semifinals we'll get the cast matchups get everybody's judges lined up and get them out the door see what happens Yeah, two casts. It's always somebody holding up the show. So nobody really had to go too far tonight, I don't think. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll wait till we get the results from them. We got cast 501 in the seniors. That is Rodeo's eight-second ride, Andrew Goss. That is a Goss or Price dog. Uh, Wildcat, Margaret Snatcher. Uh, Garrett Major and Matt Logan and Broadway Willie. That is a West Virginia dog. McLean or Schaefer, Jeremy Schaefer, the handler there. And that is in the seniors, of course. Uh, in the sophomores cast two, that is full strut. Justin Sherum out of Williamsport, Ohio. Um, Mr. Powerline, Rayburn Prince, Sequatchie, Tennessee. Mount Pisgah's short a penny. That is a Pennsylvania dog, Ryan Ryder. That is Shilly or Fuse or Ryder or Shores. They're going to have to split them winnings up four ways. <laughs> and Rackham Runt, that is a Thornhill dog owned and handled by Josh Thornhill. I'm not sure what that dog's out of. That's just a sophomore. Uh, birth date is not September 11th, 2022. 9-11 dog. <laughs> It'll be two pretty quick, about the same age as the spring pups I sold that Rebel Weatherington's hunting, the one I raised right now. They're about a week apart. Still no word from Carl. I'll shoot a message over there to Garrett Major, see if he's still alive. If he was on that cast with Margaret. I will definitely go out on a cast in the finals. And tomorrow, you guys check out the live stream because the viewers will decide which cast I go out on. We'll see. We will take a vote. We'll see who wants to watch or who everybody wants to watch. And that's the cast that I will uh, go with live. I will make sure and talk to all the guides first that we're going to have cell phone service where we're going. That's the main thing. If we don't have any data, we can't run the camera. So that may dictate where I go, but we're still going to put it up to a vote. Jordan's in. Yep, I will be out there. In them new boots. Be new boot goo. Brand new pair of bikinis. I found out my other pair had a hole in it the first time I stepped in the water. We ain't had any water at home for a long time. And I was not aware that my boots had a hole in them until I was knee deep in water in Washington, Indiana. Got a new pair, ready to break them out. 
You do need to get some insoles for him tomorrow, though. Make sure and do that before we head out. Still nothing from Garrett, nothing from Carl, and nothing from Cast. 502 in the sophomores. It's always one or two casts that make this a little fairly dead. You guys are going to have to give me something to talk about here. Looking at the winners, you're looking at the money earned in Cast 502. You can ride with 4,300. Margaret Snatcher was 6,000, but you remember she uh, got in the finals of the Pro Sport Truck Hunt there in Mercer, Missouri. And Broadway Willie with $2,800 out of West Virginia. And Clendenin, Clendenin, West Virginia. And Jeremy Schaefer. And I do not see anybody here in the clubhouse from any of those casts either. So we'll wait around and find out. See a lot of these handlers patiently waiting for their semifinal draw. I do know Carl has not looked at my message yet. Neither has Garrett Major. Garrett did send me a picture of the card when Margaret got in. 475 plus. Huh, Billy, I think he was good. By all accounts, he didn't cause no trouble this week. Uh, talked to Fields when he judged him that night. He said he wasn't bad. So I don't know. Maybe he's on his meds or something. Beats the heck out of me. But no, by all accounts, he was pretty good. Yeah, bikinis. Don't do the bikinis until at least July. Got to use a lot of off, though. <laughs> a lot of bug spray. But no, I think, uh, yeah, I don't think Norm caused any trouble. And that is amazing. They must have got his. Got his meds right or something, I guess. I see Shane. He's on the phone right now, and I heard the words question. So we'll see what that's about. We've only had one, two. Had two questions tonight. Uh, the one on Noel Allen's cast, uh, where the judge, everybody, and I've been that judge. That's in, you know, one handler says it's his dog, and the other one says mine. That's mine. Well, you don't know till you get in there, especially early in the cast. You know, the judge never hunted with them dogs, most likely, or often way. And the other one was on Chris's cat, where apparently Chris, somehow the dog got away, still had the leash on it, and that was no harm, no foul. Okay, there is a senior cast question, and that is Andrew Goss, Garrett Major, and Jeremy Schaefer. So, they're going to hear that question right now, at least those guys are still alive, I guess. And I bet it has something to do with that landowner. Someone's wanting to call interference, or maybe they had to call timeout and not tree 
not score pending trees or something. That is just that's just an assumption though. We don't know for sure. We do have a freshman card in. Let us cast two oh five. I forgot about them. We got two of them left. Uh we have Brushy Lane Tree and Clovis, Chuck's Crash, Maxed Out Migraine, and Long Cane Zeb. That is Ryan Reynolds, Jason Dixon, Richard Harrison, and Jordan Becker. And it is Ryan Reynolds with Long Cane Zebo. Uh, he is 50 and 125. It looks like only Coon Treed. 175 plus is his score. Congratulations to Ryan Reynolds. He advances the stakes. And we have our last freshman card. That is Rip Reb Deep Fork Diamond. Uh, Z Pack, Kevin Prumer, Wrights, Melon Patch, Luke Wright, and Funky Cold Medina, Josh Ashley. 200 plus is your winner there, and that is Deep Fork Diamond. Nick Cote, uh, looks like Diamond went 100 and 125 on a coon, took 25 minus for a final score of 200. Uh, that was the only coon treed in that cast, so Nick Cote advances. Congratulations to him. And that wraps up the freshman coverage. So we have two casts remaining. And that is Carl Proctor, his cast, which was Eight Second Ride, Andrew Goss, Garrett Major, Margaret Snatcher, and Jeremy Schaefer, Broadway Willie. Uh, they're here in that question here pretty quick. And then we still have cast 502 in the sophomore, Abram Prince, Justin Sharon, Ryan, Ryan Ryder, and Josh Thornhill. So what I'm going to do, make sure I don't have that anywhere. We do have our first freshman matchup. Um, that is Long Cane Zeb, Ryan Reynolds, Jerk, Bishop Stalkop, uh, Rocky, John Shockley, and Jiggy, J.D. Wood. That will be your first late round matchup for the freshman as well. So, still waiting on cast 501 and the seniors. They're hearing that question right now. 502 and the sophomores. Uh, no results from them as far as I know. I will go do my best to get the scoop and be back shortly. Uh, it is 12.02 almost. Let's be back at 12.10 Central Time. Hopefully, I can have those results for you by then. So, take an eight-minute break. Stay awake. I know it's hard. <laughs> Turn something entertaining on. Uh, take a quick walk. Whatever you guys got to do, stay awake. I'll be back uh, in eight minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, Yeah, Well, we'll try to call this year. Maybe you guys will start it. Then I'll make sure. We got to still at the door. Not all. We can keep our way in the line. Thank 
Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just gonna be fine. I'm the Yeah, <laughs>
Text the correct. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do have an update on one cast. Jeremy says, turn my mic off when I walk away. I forgot. But anyway, it is Rayburn Prince with Mr. Powerline. He is your winner there in cast 502. Um, the only update I have, and he, there is a question on the cast. It's going to be a long time before they hear they're still gathering dogs. They still had time to hunt whenever Garrett left the cast. They had some issues with the landowner. They've had a, a tough time out there, but Garrett says just guessing. It looks like probably Andrew Goss and Rodeo's eight second ride. But that is far from official. Uh, they still have to hear the question. Uh, that is going to be between Broadway Willie and Eight Second Ride, and so that's the only update I could get was from Garrett. And so that one, we're just going to have to wait on, because it is going to be a bit. I do have Let's see. I think I had another. Yeah, no, that's all I got. So that's going to be, that's going to wrap up this live stream tonight. Uh, stay tuned to ProHound. Uh, that's how you're going to figure out the final on at Cast 501 in the matchups. We're still waiting. It's going to be probably an hour uh, before we get everybody out the door and all that stuff. And so we're going to wrap it up for tonight. We're going to start it again fairly early tomorrow. We're going to get the handler interviews done for the finals, uh, get the pictures taken. Uh, and then, of course, we got to do the the fun stuff, uh, the vote, all that stuff to see who we're going in the finals. Uh, like I said, in cast at 502, it is Rayburn Prince and Mr. Powerline is what we are getting. That card is not in yet. And it is between Broadway Willie, Jeremy Schaefer, and 8 Second Ride, Andrew Goss, and 501 of the Seniors. Uh, according to Garrett Major, it looks like Rodeo, but we're not sure. And there's a lot to decipher in that case. I will give you a full rundown of that tomorrow uh, for sure. And so enjoy your Friday night. It's 12, 13. Still some time to turn it all loose if you guys want to do that or get some sleep. See, tune in. What will be bright and early for us? Probably be around two-ish <laughs> uh, for our first live stream tomorrow. We'll get these handlers set down. Uh, congratulations to all the semifinalists and everybody advancing into the baby stakes uh thanks for everybody for watching thanks to the sponsors members all that good stuff and uh yeah we will see you guys tomorrow looking forward to it and uh we will we will sit down and we will decipher because we're going to sit down maybe with the winner of that if they advance to the next round we'll sit down with the winner of that and uh we'll get the get the down low uh no i'm not gonna walk late parker we don't even know we don't even have any matchups done yet so it's gonna be a while so this will probably wrap up the coverage tonight um small chance i'll get back on here later uh, but it's looking like two or three in the morning uh most everybody's asleep then so we'll see we'll see uh not definitive but odds are we probably won't be back on uh, tonight, so stay tuned to ProHound. Uh, they'll have your cast winners once those are decided, and then uh, we will decipher the rest of this stuff going on in Cast 501 tomorrow. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate you. Um, stay tuned tomorrow. Like I said, we'll be on fairly early in the afternoon. Look for us around 2.30, 3 o'clock. Uh, I will make sure and put something down on the Facebook page and give us a, a good solid itinerary so you guys have time to tune in. And if that doesn't happen, we will make sure and start the live stream at least a half hour uh, before we actually go live. So you'll see it pop up. You'll get your notification. Kane stream is going to live at blank before we, before we get on here and give you some more updates. So thanks a bunch, and we will see you guys tomorrow night.